Hi guys, welcome, welcome back, back to the Already Over, Over podcast. Over. I'm Allie. And I'm Addie. We have a special guest today. This is my son. This is Ghost. And he, we will be interviewing him today. No, we won't. No. We're going to start doing Song of the Day. And I'm nominating Song of the Day to be You're On Your Own Kid. Okay, I'm going to say 15. Both by Taylor Swift. Yeah. It's Taylor 15, Swift week. 15 for high school, you're on your own kid for college. Real. All right. All right. Today, we are talking about high school, college, a little mm -hmm. bit, mostly high school. Um, kind of just looking back on things in the past, what yeah. we would do differently, advice we would give, all things of the sort. Yeah, I would do a lot of things differently. Number one, my makeup. Oh my God. <laughs> like, out of everything, out of every the biggest takeaway. It would be makeup. Yeah, one hundred percent, dude. If you knew me freshman year, I only wore foundation. I did my eyebrows. I didn't do my eyebrows. I wore foundation. That was probably the shade of this wall. <laughs> I can pull up pictures. No, because mine was like orange. So if I had my phone right now, I would pull up pictures. Mine was like real bad. No blush, no bronzer. Nope, none. Just dark, blotchy eyebrows and foundation. Just an ugly, acne-filled face. Yep. With just cover us like the heaviest foundation, foundation ever. Maybelline Superstar. Yeah, she was on 24 hour wear. Yep. First day of school. I'm gonna talk about high school. So I'd be lying if I said I wasn't really nervous for the first day of school because I had just moved here from Arlington and I didn't know anybody. It's a country, you know? I didn't know what to expect when I was moving here and going to school here. It was literally in the middle of nowhere. Were you impressed? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. In Love like a bad her. way. I was impressed in like a bad way. Anyway. <laughs> but like, yeah, moving to a small town. But the thing is, though, like, I was like, you know what? This school year, because I was going into high school, I was like, this school year, I'm just going to be myself. And because I don't know anybody, it's a fresh start. So I was like, I can be whoever I want to be. And so then I was just myself the entire four years of high school. I was like, I can be anyone. And I choose be. to be me. <laughs> I can be anyone. Sometimes I'm myself. Humble. Yeah. Humble. You know me. That's my middle name. <laughs> this is your last. No, but I feel like when everyone like watches like movies and stuff, like based on like coming of age movies, they think, oh yeah, this is exactly how my first day of school is supposed to be. No. Really? You didn't think that? means yeah <laughs> okay you have to do a little translating <laughs> this whole podcast you say no means yes yeah. i'm like no yeah but i forgot i forget to say yeah and no. it's just no <laughs> i'm like oh <laughs> no you do have that's everything in life though every like letdown i've ever had is because i envision things and i have an expectation and they yeah. never mean it and then i'm just like this is so shown in like movies like i didn't okay obviously i didn't expect like high school musical you know but i expected I a little did. something so you i wanted like, everyone in this <laughs> everyone that went through those halls sean gregory <laughs> <laughs> just boom name drop <laughs> y'all were name dropping this podcast no. i feel like everyone has that expectation like this is going to be the best four years of my life i'm going to have an fantastic first day but um number one that doesn't happen with high school and college <laughs> every semester on the first day i'm like i'm getting my life together dude we'll see how that we see how that's going right now <laughs> yeah really good mm -hmm. anyway i love college <laughs> it's like a gun to your head <laughs> i love I'm college <laughs> So I was like, you know what? I was wearing like a little dress for high school, the first day of school for high school. And I was like, you know what? I I have this in the back. Like, this is going to be my year. 
And then I walked through the halls and I was like, I don't know where I'm going. I was like, I have the no idea where I am. The most humbling experience. Dude, yes, not knowing where you are. And so everyone already knew the building because it's one story. Like, everything is like... It's Actually, like, it's one campus. Elementary, junior high, high school. Yeah. And people Elementary that, kids are walking down the hallways with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> but, like, people, like, grew up there and they went to school there their entire life and they already knew everything. And then, like, I didn't want to ask, like, a student because I was like, they don't know me. That'd be kind of awkward. Same with college. I went to college and I didn't ask anybody. No, me neither. I just made you I show me around. Don't. And then after that day, like, it didn't really stay with me and then I just walked around. <laughs> No, because I go to the same college my mom went to, and before my freshman year of college, she insisted that she give me a tour, and she did. Good. And she got it right. Mm -hmm. All these years later, I was like, okay. <laughs> Don't get your hopes too high. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work out perfectly for you. You know, you're gonna have a little slip up. You can't just expect this day to be the perfect day of your life. Something's gonna go wrong. Like you might accidentally miss a class, or you might like trip and fall in the hallway or something. You might not bring a pencil. Why did you look at me? I did not have a ball in the hallway, but I did throw she up. She in your first day of school? Trinity rolled her backpack through it. <laughs> not the first what? day. Oh. Because I was like, that is... But that's just a traumatic high school movie. And that could it was freshman you. year. And that could happen to you. And if that happens to you, don't beat yourself up over it. Just call your mom and go home. Yeah, it happens. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, actually... No matter how much you think you're prepared, not everything will go as well. And also, these next four years are about to be insane. So, just like buckle your seatbelt. Yeah, <laughs> you're in for a ride. Not it's, a good one. No, just kidding. Unless I actually had a pretty key. good. I, I had a too. pretty good high school experience. I did too. <laughs> so I can't really even like. Actually, maybe I'm not one. like the type of people to give you guys advice on because like, you know, I was fine. I was <laughs> good. I, I didn't really have a really junior reaction. year was kind of a little rocky for me. No, I started, too. but I started acting out. But no, junior year was awful for me. You're not ever gonna fit in. Mm -mm. <laughs> Rope. <laughs> Nobody. Even when you find <laughs> find your people for the time being. Um, when you find your people, still they're gonna have other friends that eventually you're gonna have to be around and then they know them and you don't like know them and then you're just like, okay. Yeah. All throughout school, I had an amazing group of friends and I just still didn't feel like I've been with them. I don't know. I think it's just part of growing up though. You feel like you don't belong anywhere. But it was so rough. true. It yeah. was rough. Unless you're popular. Yeah, but then you can notice like, I think when you I don't think you should try and fit in. I think you should just- Allie thinks you should be quirky. I think you should be quirky and different. I think you should be yourself and then see where that takes you. You know what yeah. I mean? Cause you know, all the different cliques in school. Listen, I'm the worst person to give this <laughs> advice. Okay, I- Why? Like fitting in, like I didn't tr actively try to fit in, mm -hmm. but my type of personality, you know, I can be friends with everyone. Yeah. And in high school, I was just kind of like, I at least was acquaintances or whatever with someone in like each different clique, like yeah. each different group. Like I knew someone I could talk to. Yeah. I think that's also handy when like you have classes and stuff. Find yeah. a person from each thing and get to know them. See where you belong really. Yeah. Like one of the hardest things I think about high school and college is making friends. That's the hardest thing. Like, even that like, that's harder than your classes, I think. No, it actually like, is. Like actually. Especially in college. Yeah. Dude. There's like no fitting in in college, I feel like. It's no. either like, you got it or you don't. Yeah. You know? Like, I don't know. Um, When I was in college, like when I was in When I was in it. <laughs> when I we did both it. dropped out. <laughs> when I did like in-person classes, I was like at a table with these girls and they all knew each other. They were talking and I was there and I was like, because oh, I'm not one to like join my conversation. So I'm like, yeah. but like, I think like you should try. I didn't try, and that's kind of on me. Yeah, it is. Now, I think I would have tried. But, like, before, it's like, because I just got off work, and I was like, I don't ha care enough to have yeah. a conversation with them. But, like, now, I think I would try and be friends with them, because they're really cool. So, just try, I think. Kind of throw yourself out. Literally talk to everyone. Literally just be yourself. You have to, like, you kind of have to get over that fear of, like, rejection or whatever. Like, what if they don't like me? Just talk, yeah. and you'll get the vibe if they don't like you. Yeah. And if they don't like you, that's fine. Just Whatever. Move on. To the move next on person. And, yeah. Like actually, and if you see them like every day, then it's 
norm. Or just pretend that interaction never happened. Because it didn't. No, you're literally, you'll be fine. It didn't. It didn't, it didn't happen. Didn't. <laughs> um, quantity. No. no. Quality. Quality over quantity. I was lucky enough to have like a big group of friends, but I still was like close with all of them, I think, in like different ways. I think when you're like trying to be friends with so many different groups of people, it's not going to work out at the end. Yeah. yeah. But as well as I was trying to be besties with everyone. No, but if you're trying to be besties with everyone, oh, that's, that's where like it's wrong. wrong. That's where you can't. That's where you're in you're gonna the ha- biggest you're gonna ha- letdown. Yeah, because you're going to have like one snake. Like you're going to have one person that's just like, what are you doing here? Why yeah. Why are you talking about me? You know? There's always going to be one person that's like not on your side. I have like, like big groups of people. Three close friends. And then... That was enough. That was more than enough, actually. Yeah. <laughs> like, honestly, because that's a big group. Yeah. For people, that's a lot in uh, high school. Mm-hmm. In college, on the other hand, it's like the more the merrier, I think. I think college is like the opposite. Because you don't, like, in high school, uh, at least for us, like, you had, like, the same classes with the same people, it felt yeah. like. And so, I mean, you didn't need so a whole can- lot of friends. But in college, you're in so many different classes doing so many different things you yeah. need as many as you can get yeah in college i would recommend ask me how many opposite. college friends i have though see ya yeah ask me how many college boyfriends i have though oh two <laughs> but anyway okay so for high school i say quality over quantity in college i kind of say quality, quantity over quality, quality? <laughs> Because you guys aren't, like, real friends anyway, I think. Like, if you're only no, friends No, college like, is class, such a dream. College is, like, not... Real. You're, never, you're never talking to those people ever again. Also, no, so you just need school. to get through each semester. You do, do what you gotta do. You make your besties Be for that semester. Like, yeah, for that semester. That's like, it. That day. My know? lab partners love them. Mm-hmm. My besties. We would hang out sometimes after lab. Do I see them? I went to their freaking Halloween, like, and took shots with them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Don't know why I felt the need to say that. <laughs> yeah. I had shots with them. <laughs> Do we still talk? No. But Love so them, fine. though. But they were there when you, like, needed to cheat off of them. We were, like, you know, the best lab group. I, <laughs> botany lab group. I will love y'all till the day I die. You hear that? She misses you guys. Mm-hmm. You need to, like, just be around people. At the end of the day, you need to be around people that you enjoy to be around. And that you share the same interests with, especially in high school. Like if you are, if you're going from click to click to click, I say click with like a little, because I don't think clicks really exist anymore. They did not exist at our school. No, they Gross. didn't. It's just like you know, you have like because in high school, like it's so small that everyone's in everything. Like there's yeah. no band nerds because everyone was in band. There's no FFA losers because everyone was in FFA. <laughs> so it was like theater. So, like, it didn't really exist. Like, you're just everywhere. But, like, for bigger schools, I guess they kind of do. It is kind of a thing. And I wonder what yeah. that's like. Actually, I probably would have got bullied if I went to a bigger school. Why? Because I was in band Let's and talk theater about bullying. and FFA. Let's start fitting in. Okay. I've, never in- I've never been bullied ever, but I have seen it happen to, like, other people. Mm-hmm. And it's not, like, the movies at all. Like, you're not getting slammed to blockers. No. I'm sure it's at some schools verbal. you do. Well, I'm sure it might be. Some might be physical. But, like... <laughs> Art? Most of the time, it is just verbal. And honestly, I was like, fuck at them. that point, I would be like, you know what, you're freaking ugly. You know what, like, you're, like, a fan. Like, honestly, like, why, like, why am I on your mind all the time? Like, like dude, actually, you feel the need to say something because I'm on your like mind this? so hard right now? Anyway. Her <laughs> dog is crying. Anyways. No, but, like, actually, that's weird. If you're that, if what another person is doing is bothering you that bad, then... You need to, like, take a few steps back. Evaluate down. yourself. Like, go, just like, relax. Go look in the back of your There's one person on my mind right now. There's one person on my mind right now. Say it. One, two, three. Sean. Sean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because he would bully the heck out of, like, the dog collared people. <laughs> you bullied, you him bullied the people. <laughs> You're like, oh, we all in there. <laughs> Speaking my truth. I'm kidding. I didn't like, bully. Did I think they were on? Well, yeah. yeah. But I'm never going to be like, ew, you freak. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, yeah, be no. like, that's not for me. But they had their 
have like own group of friends. So it's like, yeah. yeah. One thing about them is they have friends. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Popularity. That wasn't really a huge thing at our school, but no. it's still a thing. You had your popular kids, you know, especially the kids above my. The only popular grade. kid in like my grade I can think of is like Callie. Yeah. Like she's like the only person I would consider. When I think and no Allie, one in my grade was popular. Again. There was the one above us though. Carter's grade. Like Emily Holmes, Lizzie, yeah, Tori, they Macy. They had a popular They're, They yeah. were the popular yeah. kids. But like in my grade, I don't really. The people in my grade were like popular for the wrong reasons. So. The people in my grade didn't exist. My grade. Yeah. There was you nothing have, like, the good going class. for me. I think you had like the best class. No, not the people. I just mean like the way you guys. Oh, like, no the way popular, no one like, was popular. Yeah, not the people. <laughs> 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 I mean, TW, you just said that and like my jaw hit the ground. I was like, no. But like with, and you guys like had just a smaller grade period. So small. Like 33 people in my I really appreciate class. that much more than like 50. But yeah, but like I was saying, maybe it's because like we grew up, grew up in a small town that like, and everyone knows there's like five people in our town like everybody knows everybody maybe that's why like popularity like mm -hmm. really exists but there are like people i think at school people were only popular because they knew other people from other schools yeah like i didn't know anybody from other schools me neither so but like um so i was saying how i like would bounce around and be like acquaintances with everybody mm -hmm. but at some points i did try myself or find myself trying like oh, i really want to be friends with them and at that point mostly that older grade like because mm -hmm. i was like they're so like yeah anyways but the minute i tried i found myself trying to be friends with them like actual friends i was like i know this like what am i doing you know? yeah i it wasn't was like, myself i was talking yeah. about things i didn't really care to talk about i was yeah. putting on this fake like show of a personality mm -hmm. that wasn't me mm -mm. i feel like if you have to like change your whole self to try and be friends with someone or like jordan group Maybe you should reevaluate. <laughs> and I did. Maybe you should rethink a few. A few things. I don't know why. I always want to be, like, popular in the movies. Like, I want to be like, yeah, I'm, my boyfriend's the captain of the football team. He's a quarterback of the You wanted team. your boyfriend to be sh <laughs> Yeah? Yeah, I wanted to, like, date the quarterback of the football team. I wanted to be prom queen. I wanted to... That's, like, it. Do you know what I regret in high school? What? I should have done cheer. I know everyone hated cheer. You know what? I would have yeah. made it up. And I would have looked good. I was so mad freshman year when I couldn't try out because mm -hmm. I came before I, I could try out. And I was like, well, it's a sign that I shouldn't do it. My so aunt like, tried to convince me so bad. She'd be like, Addie, you'd be you so should've. good. And I knew it. But I let other people who were like, I hated it. Cheer was so fun in middle school. I should have done it. I knew. You literally should have. You know what, guys? Do everything. This goes back to yeah. what? First day of school? Yeah. Like, join everything you can. Just try out for everything too. You don't have to make it. If you don't make it next year. That was a thing. I was too scared. I was like, for cheer week, you have to walk around dressed up for the week. Everyone knows who's trying out. And I was too scared. Like, if I don't make it, like. Also, yeah. I don't care. Because do I remember who didn't make it? No. Yeah, actually, no one's going to remember. I mean, no one cares. <laughs> Literally, no one cares. Not You'll find person. out that everyone is too concerned with themselves to care about you. Yeah, I promise they do not care. You're not that special. Let me humble you for a second. You're not special. <laughs> Literally no one cares about you. You are not special. You're not special. You were just never like fit in. to put emphasis. <laughs> <laughs> Your grades matter. Freshman I tell Jordan year. This all the time. Freshman year, I tell Gracie this because she's doing wrong. Gracie, this is for you. Your freshman year is so important. That literally makes or breaks your whole your rest of your education. I don't care what anybody says. That is your most important year of school period. Mm -hmm. When you enter freshman year of high school, you need to take yourself seriously and you need to take your grades seriously. You can't drive yet anyway, so I don't know what you're doing yeah, so I don't you know can't do you your do. homework. Yeah, literally. Because <laughs> you have time. Yeah. If you don't do it at home, go to school and do it. Literally. In between classes. You need to do your homework. You do need to get it. You're a freshman. It matters. It's so important. Um... You'll start feeling, like, I feel like as soon as we enter high school, you already have people, like, yelling, what are you going to do for college now that you're in high school and stuff? It's, like, such a rush. That's yeah. all everyone's talking about high school. That's, yeah. Is the future, the future. No one's really mm -hmm. just chilling. I feel like in college, your grades don't really matter as much, as long as you're passing. 
to be honest. Because then after that, you have nothing. Past tense like a substance, subject tense. <laughs> anyway, because then like, it's like, as long as I pass and get my degree. But for high school, it's like, no. I need to make straight A's or else so I will even college. get into college. <laughs> yeah. Once you get to college, who cares? But you, I, it's the getting yeah. there that matters. Yeah. And I promise for bragging rights, you want to have high grades. Like just so yeah, I do. do. Yeah, you do. It feels so nice. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, I graduated with honors. Like yeah, my graduating GPA was a four point zero. Like what was yours? Actually, it was a four point one. Oh, yours was a two point nine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have a two point nine. I love you. Don't click off. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're gonna you're gonna thank your future self. No, your future self is gonna thank you. <laughs> Me thanking my future self for whatever she's doing right now. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for dropping out. Like, <laughs> Do not slack off. Don't skip your classes. I can't have this seriously. Like, it's so ironic you saying this. For high school, college, 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 girl, skip your class. As long as you pass and you get your degree. Some of you guys are in high school and you're probably not thinking of going to college. That's fine. Have a backup plan, though. And still, don't slack off. No, up. I don't. I thought I personally, I don't know about other schools. Our school doesn't push other options. It's like college, college, college. Yeah. What about trade school? Because let me tell you, I was well, smart in high school and college is not for me. Yeah. I will say though, senior year, my senior year, they were like, they had like people from welding school come and talk. Like they yeah. were kind of pushing. We got none trade of that. school. Yeah. They probably realized after my class, they were like, oh my God, none of those kids are going to college. <laughs> yeah. Like, like yeah. actually, I think, that, I think that's what happened. <laughs> And it was insane. They like saw the potential for my class and they're like, <sighs> clearly college isn't working for these kids. <laughs> Let's give them a little something else. <laughs> but no, anyway. seriously. Yeah, as long as if you college, know college like, isn't for you, go ahead and get that plan going. Yeah, but still try in school. Yeah. It will affect you. Everyone's going to look at your grades and your transcript no matter what. So yeah. go ahead and look good on that. They're not going to hire you if you have a zero. If you're stupid. Yeah, literally. <laughs> like, actually, no one wants a stupid person working for them. Not a single person. Um, still try and keep up with your classes. I say because every job requires a high school diploma or GED. So even if you do drop out of school, get your GED. Like, there's no way around that. Graduate high school. Like, graduate high school. Please. High school won't be the best time of your life. High school's not the best. <laughs> high school's... Okay, so everyone's like, high school's the best four years of your life. They're not... And college isn't either. I was about to say, everyone says that about college. Yeah. And let me tell you. And college is not easy. Maybe if it's, you peaked in high school. Yeah, the people who peak in high school. People who peak in high school have no future. Also ahead. get to college and have that same like mindset. It's just like a repeat. Humbled. Like, I can't wait for some people to graduate college and be humbled. Well, some people are not even in college. I had a very good time in high school. and But those are not the best years of my life. By any means. There's no way. And college I is not going used to, to like co college. That's what I said. I said this is the best here. four years of my life. Dude, I literally said I refuse to think that this is the best four years of my life. There's no way. If that was the best, if that was it, if for that me, was as good as life gets, man, <laughs> take me now. Put me down. <laughs> you euthanize me. Because <laughs> there's no way. I'm gonna die for her no to be way. euthanized. <laughs> about collar people we were talking about Allie <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like you have your whole life ahead of you you being like 16 15 whatever that cannot that's not even fun like what you get your license and you go to prom what about it like oh my god I, I can go to McDonald's now like, yeah like that's a really good thing like good for it's you it's fun but memories like, but that is yeah, not, it's the, not best. the best it's not like there's no way high school ends fast like, literally, when people told me that in, like, freshman year of high school, like, going into sophomore year, I'd be like, really? Because this is, like, dragging on. Yeah, while like, you're in there, like, so slow. Yeah, so slow. But looking back, it, like, my senior year went so Oh, my gosh. Senior year wait, was like that. Legit. I'm so, like, I, the only memory I really have of senior year is senior trip and graduation. Yeah, I literally don't remember I don't remember mine. anything else. Junior year. My junior year, year was COVID year. Mine was, like, sophomore year, I think. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, sophomore year. So it's not much to say. I will say my favorite year of high school is sophomore year. That's my favorite year of high yeah, school. Yeah, COVID year was my favorite. I had a good time. The time that I was in school. COVID was kind of rough. I had Coach Andrews. And Ooh, I, I was online. And I was like, oh. 
bypass. So it's like, you know. There you go. It's like, whatever. It's probably done. Oh my god. But high school does go bypass. So cherish it a little bit. Just a little bit. Go to prom. Go to prom. Take the pictures. Take photos. Because I'm obsessed. I talk, talk about it all the time. I'm obsessed with having pictures to show my kids mm -hmm. whenever I get older. Mm -hmm. Take them. Take as many as you want to. I said the same for college. Go. Go. It's so fun. It's really Go fun. to everything. And at college, really go to everything because no one cares. There's so many people there. Yeah. Like, you get look at it. cute boys in uniforms. So it's like, who's winning? You know? <laughs> who's winning? We are. <laughs> yep. Dude, go into the games and look up the roster. <laughs> Make sure you look up the right one. Dude, yeah, look up the right one. But my favorite thing is going to the games, looking at a player, going to the roster, let's see who might and be And does she slide in the DM? No. I do not, and I refuse to, because they're not that cute for me to be doing that. If you're being real. But their coaches are. The TJC film guy? That was, he was in the coach, though. Just a little cameraman. He was cute, though. I wonder how he's doing. Let me text him. Oh, okay. <laughs> if there's any advice I would give to a college kid, is go to the coffee shops. That's where I got my most homework done too. Go to the coffee shops. Feel like a college kid. Be like, yeah, I'm an adult. I'm in college, and I'm mm -hmm. doing my homework in a coffee shop. Mm -hmm. Do it. I've never. You done need that, to have but... money to do that, but do it. You don't have to. Do they do they like kick you out if you don't buy anything? No. Like Jack actually, I don't know because I always bought something. <laughs> Who am I to go in a coffee shop and not get a little drink? That's so real. I have to have a little drinky drink. Who am I if I don't have a little thing on me? A little drink on me. <laughs> anyway. Balls to the wall. You're never seeing anyone again. That's so You're real. Never seeing coming anyone from again. people who came from a small town. Uh, still in a small town. I have not you seen see anyone. Them. And if you do, you're not having a conversation. No. Hey. I really haven't seen anyone like for real. It's great. So, especially if you go to a bear school. Yeah. Do, like, why are we, it goes back to the why do we care so much what people think. Mm -hmm. You do you, do what you want to do, be yourself. Because at the end of the day, you are not talking to these people ever again. Mm -hmm. So, don't let their opinions on you affect your life yeah. and what you do. You might see them on, like, social media and whatever. But that's, that's different. That doesn't count. You know, you're fine. No one cares. No one cares. That's the, Nobody cares. Everyone is so concerned with themselves that they don't care. They're not going to remember. Like, even if you do something, like, they're not going to remember. If you take one thing from this, nobody cares. Just no, nobody cares. That is the thing nobody I would go back cares. and tell myself. Like, no one cares. Like, seriously. <laughs> like, actually. Like. In all I aspects of life. Yeah. Like, no one cares. No one cares in college either. They especially in college, don't care. Yeah, in college is. That, it's like the worst, like the no care factor because everyone's just there for everyone's the there free balling and no care. Yeah, free balling, no care, free balling without care in the world. On our Instagram, which if you <gasps> oh, don't yeah. follow, I forgot. Go, I, that. I posted some stickers today. I did it, I was in charge of Instagram yeah. for the day. That was crazy. I asked, What's something you would tell high school you? Let's, Let's see. see. Do not date anyone. Okay, wait, let me go into that a little bit. Okay, I had a relationship in high school. <laughs> um, it wasn't, <laughs> I didn't really like the guy. Was it like, anyway, I didn't really like the guy that much. But if we put that aside, just being in a relationship, and I broke up with him, this is sophomore year. I broke up with him like two months after we started dating. And then the rest of the year it was awkward. And it might have been awkward because we were friends before, like we started dating. It's so, so much like better that. to just be friends with everyone. It's just dating. It's, yeah, just don't date, especially in the small town. I I haven't seen him, but just don't do it. Just don't do it. You're gonna regret it. You're gonna look back and be like, ew, like I dated him. Also, speaking of relationships, don't get your hopes up for college. Yeah. People are like, you're gonna find your college sweetheart. No. You're my not. boyfriend, my future husband's not in college no, right now. Let me tell you he's that. He's not. He's definitely like in trade school or something. He's like cowboy church for me. Mm hmm. Or he's my future age. boyfriend is in a cowboy church. He's in cowboy church. He is the cowboy church. <laughs> he actually is cross brand. <laughs> he's, he's the cow. He's in the ceiling. <laughs> he's he's, he's a, Jesus. He's a roof. <laughs> anyway. No. But boys. You think high school boys are bad? You just wait till oh you get to college. Gosh. They're Do horrible. Do not make boys the center of your thing. Oh my god! You're gonna regret it. You get in a relationship and you have sex with a boy. You're gonna regret it. You're from years now. You're gonna be like, ew. Why was 
why did I do that with my high school boyfriend? When we broke up like three months so after that. So real. Your relationship Don't relaxed. have sex in high school, okay? I mean, just, oh, we could get into a whole different, and we will at some point yeah, we get will. into like dating culture and whatnot. Yeah. But please don't have sex in high school. Just don't especially if you go to a small school. Like, Back oh, to the reputation that, thing. That gets around. That gets around. And, and he gets around. And people are going to twist the words. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> Never take a boy seriously either. Sorry, but never take him seriously in high school, in college too. They say things. And take they a don't man mean it. seriously when Jesus comes back. <laughs> Real. <laughs> like literally, the only man you should be focusing on in school is Jesus. Word. Yep. <laughs> like actually. No, like seriously. No, like I'm being so for real. Someone said, "Don't change yourself for others. Be yourself." We were talking about that the whole podcast. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Kiana. But yeah, there's no point of not being yourself. Because the real you is going to come out eventually. And then like, it's going to throw people off. And they're like, well, like, why like, are you putting, like, why are you? Yeah. And then they might not even like you at exactly, all. Exactly. Because like, fake. <laughs> yeah. So. Just don't. Be yourself. Don't settle for less than you deserve. Yeah. You with your boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Friends. That goes for friends. Everything. Yeah, that really goes for everything. I was feeling silly. I wanted everyone to rate their high school experience. Mm -hmm. Everyone apparently had a really good high school experience. Yeah. See, that's like another thing. High school, yeah, it's not scary. Oh, what? It's really, everyone it's works scary. it up to be this big deal. And it's literally it's not. Nothing. It's literally nothing. I said, what's something college has taught you that's not school related? I didn't read the not school related part. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Ali said, I'm not passionate about my career choice. And I'm not. <laughs> Honestly, if college has taught me one thing, it's this right here. Your first major won't be your final major. Yeah, I read that earlier and I was like. So yeah. real. You're going to change it up. You could. Okay, when I was younger, I always wanted to be a vet. I, I've always been a vet technician, like, for so long. And then when I got to college, I was like, you know what? I don't want to do that. So then I changed my major. And I changed my major to English. Because I was like, That's yeah. insane. I was like, yeah, I'm going to, like, major in journalism and, like, um, interview, like, basketball players and whatever. And then in my Katie Parker era. And then I <laughs> changed my major to history. Because I was like, well, I'm more passionate about history. I love history. And I was really set on doing history. And then I went back to education. That was like one of my first choices. I went back to education. And I was like, let me just do education. And then here I am doing education. I'm changing my major again to business. So I'm also going to business. I um I love kids. Don't think I can teach them. And it's not worth it anymore. No. If I could say anything for college, I would say go in with general studies. Yeah. Because you're forced to take these classes that aren't mm -hmm. going to pertain to your degree anyways. Yeah. And that kind of, like, opens up your mind. Like, yeah. oh, I kind of actually like this. And mm -hmm. you might. You might find something that you're actually, you never knew that you are that passionate about. Yeah. And then it's like, wait, I want to make a career out of this. Yeah. So do that. You're only 18. That's so much pressure. You're only 18. You have, you have all the time to figure it out. And you mm -hmm. will. You will eventually. Eventually. You may be 30. Who cares? Like, you, you'll get it. It's yeah. your life. Do what you want. There's no time limit. Mm -mm. I have to tell myself that with everything. Like oh, I, too. I was telling my stepmom how, um, if I want to have a kid by 25, I need to be in a relationship by yesterday. Yeah. And she was like, "That's so not true." And I was like, it, "But it is." I was like, "This is a totally different topic." <laughs> but I told her I was like, "Well, I want to date for at least a couple years and be engaged by one." And she's like, "That's not gonna happen with you." And I was like. <laughs> she's gone <laughs> i'm like okay and she's like i just know you're gonna meet your person and within a year like you'll be getting married that could be that happening for you everyone says that yeah i'll be like i'm surprised gonna... okay. that happens i'm gonna be like that kind of scares me everyone sees that for myself and i'm like someone said find godly community i can relate to this one because i didn't make friends in like college college really like my lab partners i mentioned like mm -hmm. but, like well, and that one, that from last week. But, um, like, other than that, um, yeah. I, the, every college you go to, most likely, they're going to have, like, Christian things. Around. Yeah, like, so A&M has Christian stuff. Any religion, stuff, really. Tyler, like. Just depends where you go. Yeah, it does. 
I know but, Jesus has like Catholic thing. Like you don't have to be just Christian to join. No. Like you know, like a, there's a godly community. There is godly communities all around you. You just kind of have to search for them. Yeah. But definitely go because I met some of the most amazing girls through going to the boathouse and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, it was really, good. it's good for you because it just gets you in the right mindset. Like whenever you're focused yeah. on God, which that's a whole other topic, but whenever like you are weekly and daily or whatever, like, I don't know, it really does help you get through life. I haven't gone this semester and I'm having the worst time of my life. So, <laughs> so, so weird. I don't know. We went to Cowboy Church and I feel myself like, I've been going to being resurrected. No, I went to church. I've been going I to the little I to cowboy church. I had a time in my life. I love cowboy church. Me at church though, I'm just like this. I know. The whole time I was sitting there, I was side-eyeing Allie. I was like, is she liking it? <laughs> I know. My mom was asking me. I was like, I don't like talking during church. I can't. My mom wants to have side conversations with me. I'm like, please. Like, I cannot do this <laughs> right now. I'm like, need my own little Yeah, thoughts. you do. Someone said, money comes and goes really fast. And yeah. that's why you should spend it. Yeah. I mean, like, let me not backtrack everything I said. You should have a savings account, I feel like. No matter what age you are, you should have a savings account. I don't have a savings account. I do, and it only has, like, $12 on it. You know what? At least that's something. There you go. It's better than mine. Yours is just zero. Um, <laughs> and then, lastly, advice you would give to an incoming college freshman. I said don't enroll. Real. I'm moving to Charleston. And I'm Take opening my you. business. I have a dream. I have a dream. I but I'm trying dream. to decide if it requires a college degree or not. I think it I think it, it either like, requires a college degree or a rich husband. So well, whichever I'm comes first. Getting both. I have to have a degree. I can't I like, can't I be the to. loser in the family. No, I have to. Not that not that if you don't get your degree. You no, know. but it's just like when you come from a family that's always been in college, it's like oh, Your like grandpa I have like to. found an A and M and come around and go. <laughs> If you're, if you're loving high school, hold on because it's going to end. If you're hating high school, hold on because it's going to end. Same with college. It's going to end. It's going to end. It's going to end. It ends this semester. Yep. This is us dropping out. Hey, dad. I'm dropping out. I am, I have a plan. We have a plan. We don't know how we're going to accomplish it, but we are opening a coffee shop and a floral shop. Mm -hmm. I do the coffee. She does the flowers. Mm -hmm. Copy our ideas and you'll be euthanized. And sued. (laughs) Okay. Follow us on Instagram. At the Interact with us. Don't just follow. Interact. Interact. Have some fun. We ask you guys questions a lot. You guys were really... uh, You were into it today. today. I love that. Yay. Pretty good answer. It was shocking. I'm just kidding. I wasn't (laughs) expecting much. (laughs) <laughs> we love you thank you for listening for those who are listening we yeah. actually enjoy yeah i know i looked rough in this week so i like, i know the hair's in a ponytail but it only makes sense to talk about high my school. hair looks bad yeah but yeah we we'll see y'all i'm sure we'll be talking about taylor swift next week before yeah, marriage yeah we'll see we'll see you guys next tuesday see you next tuesday see you next tuesday Bye. I don't know why I do jazz hands.